Yeah, I'm not working on the teardrop today. I gotta get some heat for out at the sister's farm. So I'll start with a uh, hot water heater. It's not a, really a hot water heater. It's a heater that makes water hot. So I uh, already got me a that came out of the center of it up in the middle as well as did this piece that's where your fire went up to that went up to the middle so i took a piece of that i put it here for the chimney or whatever you want to call it i'm not really putting a measurement on any of this stuff it doesn't have to be pretty it doesn't have to be functional so uh, i got that done and i got these three holes here filled uh, got some legs on it and the legs are pretty much the top of the pipe rail that came off of the that trailer that I used remember that one for uh, the 5x10 camper so make use of that for legs and then uh, I'm gonna grind off these let me show you on the front I'm going to grind off these uh, buttons on the front, fittings on the front. I'll cut those off. And then I'll make my door. Um, probably make it square. So then what I'll first do is I'll probably have to put my hinge on this side. So I'll make my first cut here. Cut that down. And then I'll take my hinge. Now I'll weld it there and I will cut the rest of the door open so that way it'll be perfectly lined up we're going, you know even even with a little bit of slack that's in this hinge that is a good steel hinge so we're good there um, and I'm gonna take this propane tank and I'm gonna cut the bottom off of it cut the top off of it let's see yeah there it is and then I'll take that pretty much and it will set in this hole right here, but only up about so high. And then on top of that, it will be, let me spin you completely around this direction here. Watch my hands so you don't get dizzy. All right, I, I never used that for what I built it for, but always wanted to spend a little time for target practice on it but I just never did so what I'm gonna do let's go back over this way what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna once I get that propane tank mounted in the top I will put that on there for a stove top and then um, this will be sticking out a little bit and then weld it onto here the tanks already been filled with water flush set overnight and once you do your math to see so you can do your math to figure out how big around your tank is it's 12 and a quarter inches around so take a compass and cut your piece out for a, a pattern either using that or this but if you're unsure of your math you can take this and put it right down on the tank like this and you go oh i'm right there so you can be sure before you cut your hole <clears throat> it'd be a good idea to cut your hole just to, like i trace this on the outside for me i'm going to stay right on the inside of the white line which should give me another eighth of an inch now i'd rather for it to be a little bit tight than a little bit big because this welding wire is 20 bucks a spool so i'll weld the tank in there and uh, i guess i'll put some boards or something under it and level it and Try to get a general idea of, or I could just push it down over the mud until it gets level. And then I'll level off my cooktop there. And I'd like to, uh, in right about here, so that you know when you build your fire in here, the flame's just going to run right up the pipe. I like to cut me a, just cut right in here, just like this, wide enough for piece of flat plate steel to go in there come down about four inches um, 
basically when you look on the inside of it, if you were looking on the inside of it, you see something like this on the inside. So basically my flame is not just running wild and going right up the chimney. It's kind of recirculating some heat. And plus with this sticking up, there's going to be a little bigger cavity for more heat. So this should be a real efficient wood burner. Uh, efficient with the heat, they're always efficient burning the wood. So that's that's going to be my video for today, and um, I'll kind of update y'all as we go along on this. Not any, hadn't even thought of a name for it yet, but you can see. Oh, let me take take you off the tripod. We'll take a peek up through the tank. You can see right up in there, and right up on the top, just before the chimney, is where I'll put that little baffle to slow the fire down, so you don't lose so much heat. And I haven't been filming this as as I've been doing it because, as we all know, there's a lot of grinding and a lot of banging, and it's just to me, it's not something I want to listen to. Yeah, I want to see how it's made, but I don't want to listen to people banging and grinding. I don't want to look right at an arc. Or the sparks of a grinder uh, and plus I don't want to get sparks on my camera either so uh, y'all watch along with me I'll get this built and then uh, hopefully by then somebody will want another teardrop camper and then I can uh, build another one of those I look forward to that as long as it's a new style I don't want to build the same thing again I want to build something different each time Thanks for watching. Leave a comment. I'll come to your page and leave a comment for you too. I appreciate it.